Understanding Linear Inequalities, A Simple Guide. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the concept of linear inequalities. This is a term commonly used in mathematics, but it's important to understand its meaning in English as well. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just curious about English terminology in different fields, this video will help you grasp the essence of linear inequalities. A linear inequality is similar to a linear equation, but instead of an equal sign, smiley face, it uses inequality symbols like greater than, greater than, or less than, less than. It's a mathematical way of comparing two values or expressions. In simpler terms, it shows that one side of the inequality is either larger or smaller than the other side. For example, the inequality 2x plus 3 greater than 5 means that 2 times a number, x, added to 3 is greater than 5. In linear inequalities, we primarily deal with four symbols. 1. Greater than, greater than, it indicates that one value is larger than the other. 2. Less than, less than, this shows that one value is smaller than another. 3. Greater than or equal to, is greater than or equal to, it means one value is either greater than or exactly equal to another. 4. Less than or equal to, is less than or equal to, this indicates a value is either less than or exactly equal to another. Understanding these symbols is crucial for interpreting and solving linear inequalities. Solving a linear inequality is quite similar to solving a linear equation. The goal is to find the value of the variable that makes the inequality true. For instance, to solve 2x plus 3 greater than 5, we subtract 3 from both sides and then divide by 2, finding the range of values for x that satisfies the inequality. Linear inequalities are not just theoretical. They have practical applications in everyday life. For example, they can be used in budgeting, ensuring expenses are less than income, in constructing buildings, keeping the weight less than what the structure can support, and in numerous other scenarios. We hope this video has helped you understand the concept of linear inequalities in English. Remember, mathematics is a universal language, and understanding its terms in English can greatly enhance your learning and communication skills. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more insightful English language learning content.